CBS 4 is following some breaking news at 5 o'clock. Metro police are investigating a homicide on the city's north side. Detectives have been outside on that scene all day today. CBS 4's Russ McQuaid has an update on where this investigation stands now. This is the Brownstone Apartments at 3360 North Meridian Street, where a resident heard gunfire and found a man down in the yard during the lunch hour. At about 12.20 p.m., a neighbor told us she heard gunshots. I heard some, I thought it was like some loud booms earlier when I was getting ready for work. And I asked my mom, I said, uh, that's not like gunshots, and she didn't think it was, so I knew it was gunshots because I, I heard something. So I knew something happened when I came outside. Police say another resident flagged down a passing IMPD motorcycle officer who called in detectives. What we know at this point is that the adult male came out of one of the apartment buildings behind us uh, and then moved towards the street uh, where he was located. The man was rushed to Eskenazi Hospital where he died, but officials still don't know where he was shot. We don't know if that occurred inside one of the apartments themselves or in the foyer but the incident occurred inside and then he came outside. Just last week, another man was shot at this same apartment complex. Residents say the violence isn't anything new. There's a lot of crime around here. A lot of, you know, people just doing what they want to do. I mean, it's, it's common now, so it's, you know, this is what you see. This is what you see is what you get. Today's killing means Indianapolis' 2023 homicide pace is keeping track with last year's homicide rate. I mean, this is where I got to live for right now. So, I, I mean, I, I can't be scared where I got where I got to live, so. IMPD homicide detectives are stumped not only on the motive for this man's death, but his identity. If you can shed light on either of those issues, call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS. On North Meridian Street, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News. Russ, thank you.